Broadcasting from the creation of time to the end of the world. Buckle up, baby. This ain't your grandma's Christian show. It's time to get down and dirty on Change for That. And hey, what's up, everybody? Chester Proctor with you on another episode of Change for That. I'm Kurt Toodle. And I'm your favorite, Cedric Thrower. Well, you're not my favorite. <laughs> I'll go ahead and drop that in there now. <laughs> I'm always your favorite. Come on. You've lost me this time. No, not, I'll sing, not at all. I'll sing the third verse for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, actually the second stanza. No, it's not. It's the third. It's the second. Whatever. Stanza. It is October fifteenth on uh, Sunday morning. The Ides of October, halfway through the month on a five Sunday month. And uh, guys, we got a lot going on. We've got some stuff from our listeners that want to know about Ouija boards. I guess it's getting that time. It's Halloween <laughs> month, and guys uh, starting to to watch scary movies last week. Now oh, they're wanting God. to know about this stuff this week. Uh, we're also going to talk about some of the current events going on, and uh, really, the current events, sadly, um, and we, uh, you know, I guess we're all used to this, but it either deals with uh, the NFL or racism or Trump or all of the above tied in together into one pretty nasty package. Oh, it's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't yeah. I sound depressed? You did. Say, you sounded very <laughs> depressed, actually. And uh, so, anyway, let's get right into it. Jameel Hill's topic for today. And uh, Jameel Hill, ESPN reporter, comes out at the beginning a couple weeks ago and says that uh, Trump is a supremacist, white supremacist, and everybody gets either on her side or against her, you know, depending on. Uh, well, and then so after they get all upset and all that stuff, there's this big conversation about it, and they decide at ESPN to just uh, warn her, and then they turn around, and she turns around, and she tweets again uh, recently, and her tweet this time called for people to boycott uh, the sponsors if they disagree with Jerry Jones of Dallas Cowboys, America's team, as they say. Well, see, there's the problem. Yeah, they're in lies. They, warn, they warned her. Warning comes before destruction. Now she's destructed. <laughs> <laughs> Heed the warning. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what people got to realize is this is an issue of, uh, and I know a guy who knows her. This is an issue of um, not doing what your boss says. And I know a guy that knows her uh, that uh, says she's a great, great lady, and, and I'm sure she is. And uh, But I've also heard that she's, uh, from people who know her from ESPN, that she is uh, vehemently racist. And so... You know, I don't know. I mean, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's what can, I, can you be black and racist? Yes. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that possible? Well, that was my question. No, so so here's no, what, you can. Here's yeah. what I want to know is is how much of this is racism and how much of it is just uh, which I don't know about her, but in general, how much it's racism? And how much of it is just people are tired of it? People are tired of all of it. it. All of it. Yeah, and racism. I mean, when you're trying to find really the the struggle with this show today, we're trying to find a. Uh, an issue. I tell you what, we can change gears mid midstream here because we're trying to find an issue uh, to talk about with the current events section of this show, and it's the same crap as what over it boils down to. Over. Either we're taking an ear or not taking an ear. Either we hate people or we don't hate people. Either we're blacks or we're whites or we're you know all these other races are getting left out. Poor guys, we should hate them <laughs> for a while. Yeah, let's let's hate equally. <laughs> I think that's only fair. You, have you ever heard the quote? I'm not racist. I hate everybody. Oh, wait, there yeah. you go. There you go. <laughs> Did he has he ever heard the quote? He quote. He was, it was him. That, that was yeah, him. That was I him. Quoted that. Right. Yeah, that's me. Um, I'll tell you something. You know, last week on uh, I guess it was Tuesday was uh, National Mental Awareness. Uh, uh, <laughs> why are you laughing? Because you know <laughs> he's not mentally aware. I'm, I'm, Is it mental awareness or mental? I, I woke up. Illness awareness. Probably mental Mil illness no, awareness. No, 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 no. Mental health awareness. Mental health awareness. Sorry. Yes. yes. Totally. Just uh, faux pas. Yeah. We we we. Uh, World Mental Health Day is what it was. Yes. Oh, okay. Mental yeah. health. Sorry. So we can't say you illness. can't. So you can't, can't say, say illness. illness. No, no, no. It's see, it. and Cedric just laughed at everybody. Well, I'm just saying. You I'm, see? Just, I'm trying to keep y'all correct. Oh, you but know? you're. I get what you're saying. But if is, is that not part of the problem? <laughs> Are we not? Is that really? I mean, this country we're so afraid now to say that. I mean, you're you don't right. Want to feel the ill people? The, well, I, I I struggle with illness. Right. I struggle with mental illness. Yeah. No, you struggle with mental health. No, there's. A, <laughs> when did we open? I, did the, I hear something? When did we open the set to, to <laughs> third parties or fourth parties? People, wives interrupt. I know, stuff. right? <laughs> Get your I, woman under control, I'm about, Kurt. I was about to say, Kurt. Come on now. Can you not? Uh, She's just excited because you know she doesn't. She's mental. Ill. No, she, she. This is like her third time being here while we've recorded, which is her third time hearing the show. No, it's her fourth time hearing this show, so <laughs> she's getting excited. Other than when she won a prize, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, a, like a the big Valentine's Day dinner. Yeah, I never. Hey. never 
never did get a thank you for that either. You know, I have some I advice thanks. for you. Kurt. Her, I'm talking about her. Oh, okay. I have some I'm advice sure you, you got the thank you, wink, <laughs> wink. <laughs> you, you ever seen the movie Color Purple? Of course not. <laughs> With Whoopi Goldberg, she was the black lady. Hey, look at this. <laughs> See, I've see, seen that. Yeah, I've it. never seen it. Well, you know. It's a great movie. Um, Roots. Sophia's husband movie. wanted some advice on how to control his wife. And so um, Whoopi what? Goldberg gave her some advice. She said, beat her. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. It's true, I'm though. I'm not going to do that. Here's, here's what, here's what I, I think. Again, mental problems here. Here, here's, 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 you, you, you said, really? Or there you go. Or whatever about me knowing Whoopi Goldberg was in the color purple. Okay. On Facebook last week, Skillet here decides to go out live on Facebook talking with his son, right? I don't know what they're doing. They're FaceTiming he and you. Oh, me. And his son are FaceTiming. I was kind of confused what you meant by Skillet. Oh, yeah. You was on there. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I just, you know, like, you know how you, you know how I call people Slick? Yeah. Call you Slick and stuff? He's Skillet. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> it's probably a race. It's, it's probably, probably a, because it's black. The Skillet is black. You know, the one that you there's a racial, in. Wow. There's a racial problem there. I knew that. It's, it's ingrained in me. Yeah. Uh, Francis Scott Key was my ancestor. But <laughs> if you, um, uh-huh. and he, you know what he says on Facebook? I said, I said something like, I don't know. I said, hey, or something. He said, Chester is the whitest black guy <laughs> I know. He said it on Facebook in front of all those people looking at his live. Cedric, you are part of the problem. I am part of the problem. <laughs> you you want to come in here all high and mighty? I'm tired of all the race talk. <laughs> I don't like it all that much. And then you're but you're out there. But see, Chester, you you I leave mean, this place and you go in your own little your own little circles of hate the white man. <laughs> that's, what you, that's what it is. That's what happens. <laughs> and you do too. It's called you know, he hates the white. I hate the white man. I, man. I do hate the yes, white man. You be in the meeting with me. That's right. <laughs> apparently, according to according to what you say on Facebook. Uh, but people don't know our relationship. So it's like when I when you chime in on things that we're doing, I oh, can't yeah. help it. <laughs> no, it, and it's funny because it's funny because people don't know. Right? Because people are like, <gasps> oh my god, did he just say what that? What did he to say Justin? to that guy? <laughs> Who is that guy? <laughs> We could argue one moment and be laughing the next. That's that's like, how like we did before the show. That's today. how guys are. I was mad because you guys wouldn't stop you you wouldn't stop wan wan about the topics. Yeah, I hated them. And now look at it. It's made for a great ten minutes. <laughs> when we talk about absolutely nothing for ten minutes. Yeah. It, it, here's here's the thing though. Um, you know, I don't know. You have made me lose my train of thought. Mm-hmm. Um, it's your mental health. It is. Oh, that's what we were talking about. Thank you. Mental health. So so why are we why are we so you know, why is it wrong to say stuff like mental illness? Well, the thing is, illness has a negative connotation. It is negative. It's not but, good. You no, know, no. It's, you know. I understand what you're saying. But look, if I'm sick, do I go to the doctor and say, I'm having a problem with my physical health? Yes. No, I don't. I go and say, doctor, I don't feel good. I'm ill. No. You have you have health issues. Well, I, well you might want to politically correct that, but I don't say that. <laughs> no, I say I'm sick. That's right, see? And I don't understand why. Well, you know, the thing is... We're it's, too it's, sensitive. It's the same, these different group of people that find things to talk about, whose family member had a mental breakdown, and then they say, uh-uh. don't tell you them You can't that say are, breakdown. Okay, well, It's got to be a, it's got a negative issue. connotation. How can you and, put and that in positive? Would, and they would say, you know, you can't call them ill. They're having health issues or mental health issues. So they're trying to put a positive spin because, you know, everybody don't want to blame gun violence on somebody being mentally Ill. challenged. Or yeah. Oh, no. Oh, or mentally challenged? Did well, you really just say that? Did you really go well, there? Okay. That's got to be on the top five of I'm you gonna, can't I'm say those in trouble things. Now, but, you know, mental health issue, you know. Now here's what I think, and I'm about sick and tired of it. This is the one thing, just the you, one thing gonna, that I... You're going to offend everybody. I am okay. sick. Yeah, this is the one thing I like about Trump. I that that. Well, this is the one thing I don't like about him, and at the same time, I do like it about he's him. He's not politically correct. He's not, and I'm tired of it. Well, the thing you is, talk about being tired of race issues. I'm tired of political correctness. I'm tired of having to call an African American African American if they have no ties to Africa. Actually, I don't want to be called African American. And you know how many people I hear say that? I don't. I do. I hear people say that because I'm not because I I'm would be I would be offended if you called me European American. Oh, wait a minute. You're not. No. What are you? I, I'm half Italian, half Irish. Oh. But I'm not Italian American. I'm not Irish. You know what I am? I'm American. No, because see, I was born in South Carolina. I'm like secession. Like yeah, I was you know, born I'm in like, Georgia. I'm like the first colony to get angry and leave the Union. I'm a Georgian. You wanna, yeah, well, see, you want to pour racist stuff on us? Blame the South Carolinians. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. You know, the Kakalakis. That's right. I don't even know what that is. South Kakalaki. Is that racist? No. Oh, of course not. Would I do that? Yes. Okay. Right. Maybe. Kurt. 
Where were you born? <laughs> What's the matter? Vidalia. Don't you think we're too, we're too, we're too, they tore down your hospital you were born in. That's probably yeah, offends did. you, doesn't it? He's yeah, a, it does. He's an onioneer. See, now, I, see, that's racist. An onioneer. We're in this, like, we're in this participation <laughs> trophy generation oh, yeah. where yeah. Yeah. we yeah. have to provide positive stuff for everybody. And, and what that creates is kids that grow up thinking that everything's owed to them or you can't say anything that offends them. And people say, well, you can't tell me I'm wrong because that's my opinion. Well, no, your opinion can be wrong. I (laughs) mean, just because that's what you think doesn't mean that's the wrong thing to think. Well, don't we have this issue in the church? Yeah. When the preacher preaches the truth? Absolutely. And people want to say, why, preacher, you were preaching to me. No, you idiot. The Holy Spirit was trying to get (laughs) get you under control. I mean, you're the issue. You got to quit cheating on your wife, you dummy. And if you got a problem with that, take it up with God. Right. (laughs) Oh, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not following through with a generosity. You're not tithing. Well, guess what? You're the one sinning, not your preacher. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, see, the thing is, people can't handle the truth. That's why a lot of things that I wish Donald that Trump clip. says, you, you know, can. it kind of hurts because it's the truth. <laughs> well, I think so. I think I think in some ways you that's know, what got some, Jamil some White, uh, Jamil Hill in problem. Not Jamil she's, because, because she's Jaleel the truth. White. Wasn't she, that a yeah Urkel? Urkel? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because she spoke the truth, and a lot of times it just rubs people the wrong way. The truth, but. If you could swallow it, sometimes it helps you. Mm. Well, the I, issue here. Go ahead. Well, I, I was going to say, I think, I think the issue with her is, she did this at her. I mean, this like her job specifically told her that she could not do this. Just like Jerry Jones, he pays every one of those players' salaries. Mm-hmm. He is your employer. If he tells you that you have to do something or that you can't do this or that, guess what? That's what you have to do as long as you're employed by him. So, I mean, that that's him, and, and ESPN told her not to do this, so that was the issue with it. It's kind of why we're talking about this topic. You boys had a choice. <laughs> Talk about this topic or hit the road. No? No. 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 So, oh. we're, so we're here. <laughs> so that's not you don't work for me? Oh. <laughs> not until I pay you? You can just dock our pay. That's right. You get none. Yeah. Just keep it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tithe with it. <laughs> nothing for but, nothing leaves nothing. But you're, it's a good song, but you're right. You're right, and I think that the issue, and I'm, I, and maybe I'm just being a bit on the jerky side with this, but I just am tired, so tired of the of the political correctness that I'm just not. I don't want to do it anymore. And if you don't like me because of it, that's great. You don't have to like me. There's nothing that says you got to like me. Well, here's the problem. I mean, but am I dividing every, as a Christian? Everybody is. No, no, no. I think that we have a responsibility to the church to teach them. Them, the Bible says, "Let he that has an ear hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to church." Saying to the church, not everyone has an ear to hear, right? You know, and when the truth is recognized, when you speak the truth because of the Spirit that's in me, usually it's going to connect. Whether mm-hmm. I want to agree with it, it's right. the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to be like, "Well, you, you know, you're right." Yeah, because that's the Spirit in me. Those who don't carry God's Spirit in them are never going to come to a place of agreement. They're just not. So here's the big issue then. There's a lot of people out there that really aren't saved. That's really not That think saved. they're saved because they have a head knowledge, but they don't really have a relationship. That's right. That's right. Have I a zeal of God, but deny the power of. No unction. Yeah, no unction. <laughs> no, no unction. I think it comes, I, I can't stand being around. Cedric. No, well, yeah. But <laughs> no, too. I can't stand being around people that, that can never, ever, no matter what the situation is, admit when they've made a mistake and own it. Yeah. I hate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah Chester. And, you know, that, that. I do not. I do not. <laughs> that is essential to understanding what Jesus did for you when you think about it. That's right. You were born into sin. Into sin. There's nothing you can do about that, but you have to admit that you are a sinful creature in order to, to, to understand what Jesus did for you on the cross. And when people can't do that, that's kind of what makes me question Trump's salvation sure is because he, he doesn't seem it. like a type of person that can admit when there's he's no at humility fault. no there's no humility and that's not, not a characteristic yeah. of someone that is that that belongs to Jesus that's just just not okay so here's the here's something that comes up because this is going to come up this is this has come up to me in recent conversations and, mm-hmm. and and this is the the new free grace not new but free grace theology and and basically <laughs> what this is is um, there's this argument between the Reformed folks, the Calvinists, and the Free Grace Theology folks. Here we go. And the, I know, and the argument is this, <laughs> basically, if I understand it correctly, the argument is the Calvinists, far, far extreme Calvinists, are saying, like John MacArthur and those guys, are saying 
that if you don't exhibit evidence in your life, then you're not saved. And the Free Grace folks are saying that it is not works-based, so salvation does not have to be, I mean, uh, accompanied by those good works. Or you, or or if they're just arguing that they're wrong. They may not be saying the way I just said it, but they're mm-hmm. just basically saying that you're wrong. And they they like to use the example of the thief right. on the cross and say, well, where was his evidence? But well, but the Calvinists aren't necessarily saying good works is going to get you into heaven. They're saying that it is going to accompany your salvation as evidence. And the free grace people say that's not true. And I think I agree with that. You know, I, it, if it, if you belong to Jesus, there's going to be some evidence it's that be you do. Fruit. It's like you. I've heard you preach so many times to to the congregation that. If you can, if you sit there and, and you think about your life before Jesus and your life after Jesus, if there is nothing different, then you need to reevaluate your <laughs> salvation. your salvation experience. I mean, yeah. is, is it wrong to say that? Well, the Bible says you will know a tree by the fruit that it bears. Well, that's exactly right. So exactly that tells right. me that I'm going to exhibit or, or display some form of godliness, so that you be able to say, "Let your good," I say. Let your good works shine before men. Before men, yeah. so that your Father in heaven can be glorified. Right. Know? So how can he be glorified if you're no no change is involved? Well, the verse I think it's out of Matthew that you're talking about, which is the verse about the 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 good tree bearing good fruit and the bad tree bearing bad fruit. Right. That verse is one of the verses that John MacArthur, the Calvinist, five point Calvinist, uses Am I to Calvinist? see. And and there you go. And now all of a sudden, there's this big issue with whether or not. Uh, well, I think we <laughs> share ideas ideology, you know, in some forms, but we just don't believe all five points but in you, its entirety. But right? you know what I'm seeing here? Just like there's this big issue between Republicans and Democrats, just like there's a big issue between whites and blacks, just because just like there's a big issue between those who take a knee and those who don't, there is a big issue between in the theological realm uh, or or side of things between uh, these Calvinists and these free grace theology, theologians and um, those who maybe fall in the middle somewhere. I mean, it's it's very interesting that it's very sad. It's a division, like you were saying off the air earlier. On nothing. Uh, that, that people are fighting instead of sharing Jesus with people. They're fighting yes. on these things. But then one side of that would say you don't have to share Jesus with people. Who, who's that? Well, I mean, Calvinist. the the extreme, the yeah. the. Uh, what I, they would I, I, they I would, would tell you that God has already predestined those to get saved, so there's no need to share the gospel because it's going to happen anyway. Well, I think that if He didn't want us to share the gospel, He wouldn't have commissioned us to do so. Well, I mean, that's that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a good point. Well, they would argue. I've heard I've heard them argue, and I don't want to speak for them, but I've heard some argue that we don't know how God works out that salvation. We just know, so He told us to go out and do that. So we go out and do that because we know that there are people out there who will respond because they've been chosen. Eh, uh, you know that just to me. Yeah, you, we are a me, chosen if gonna generation. Be, if you're going to be a Calvinist, be a hyper Calvinist and don't do anything. <laughs> that, that's me. You know, that's me. But anyway, if you want to sound off on this, let us know. Change for that. We visit us online. We're proud to be on multiple stations and online. You can visit us at changeforthat.com or on Facebook to find out more. Change for that. We'll be right back. Change for That is made possible without commercial interruption by Gigi's Landscaping of Vidalia. And we'd like to say congratulations to our latest winner, Lynn Sapp of Vidalia. Back to the show. Change for That. Change for That is heard on great radio stations throughout the southeast of the state of Georgia, like WKKZ in Dublin. And we're so thankful for them and all of our great sponsors that make that possible. Guys, our question for this show is dealing with um, Halloween and Ouija boards. Oh. Yeah. And it says, do you have the question? There it is. It says, <laughs> <laughs> regarding Ouija boards, seances, and the like, what dangers are people, believers and unbelievers, opening up to when they indulge their attraction to these types of things? I have a four letter word. Uh oh. Race? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> that door, that's the door you open. <laughs> The race the door gates or the of hell? hell? The gates hell door? Hell. Race will lead you there, too. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. you know, I'm just saying, you know, come on, people. Why do we want to play with demonic spirits? I mean, don't we have enough demonic people? <laughs> Spirits. Don't we have enough demonics? <laughs> Don't we have Are you enough? speaking in demonics again? Yes, I'm trying yeah. to. I'm just saying we got enough to deal with than to be, um, you know, conjuring up spirits that we don't know and that carries all types of evil. And don't you think we have enough evil here already? Well, Scripture's clear on on saying that you know we're not supposed to be playing around with this yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's witchcraft. 
And I, I like what gotquestions.org says about this issue. It says, Occultists will insist that the Ouija boards work by allowing spirits of the dead to move the pointer in answer to queries. Scientists have yet to prove that the pointer is moved by anything other than the living people touching the pointer. <laughs> it says, in fact, spirits of the dead seem to get extremely confused when participants are blindfolded, at which point the Ouija board suddenly ceases to work. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? They just can't figure it out. Don't be, don't be uh, bad. I'm just saying, don't you know, be. we got enough people that's working in, 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 with a rebellious spirit, which is the same as witchcraft, you know. So, <laughs> well, the the brand new CSB Bible, which is the Christian Standard Bible, mm-hmm. came out with the Apologetics Bible, which I encourage mm-hmm. everybody to get a copy of. I got a copy of That's it. That's really cool for Bosses Appreciation Day, uh, which is actually tomorrow. <laughs> but I was given to it last week. They gave it oh, to me. Tomorrow's my day. Um, so happy happy day. <laughs> Thank when you. you go to work tomorrow, make sure you yeah, tell I'm everybody. Tell everybody, I'm say, your boss. <laughs> <laughs> and you and you have to appreciate me. <laughs> well, the the uh, Leonard G. Goss wrote uh, dealing with the occult in First Samuel twenty eight, and he wrote the English word the occult comes out of the Latin occultus, which means things that are hidden, esoteric, concealed, or mysterious. For occult practitioners, the occult represents interference with physical nature by using hidden knowledge such as non-conventional practices, including reciting formulas, making gestures, mixing incompatible elements, performing healing spells, or performing secret ceremonies, attempting to alter physical nature. He said, what is hidden knowledge? Well, according to the occultist, it's the force at the base of the universe, and it is obtained only through secret communication with that force. Is this hidden force God or the devil or the soul of the universe? (laughs) Well, that depends on a good deal on what particular source their Gnosis has tapped into. But one thing the force is not, it is not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen to that. So good, good, interesting point there. But to, to your point on got questions, he said, often there is deliberate faking in the lucrative field of the occult. There's money to be made. There's also inaccurate yeah. reporting. And when some people find a theory fascinating, they can often care less about the facts. So. Well, look at here. I just saw Genesis <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On that table, you saw the beginning. <laughs> yes. Well, for, First Peter five eight says, "Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour." And when we do stuff like this, it allows the devil an inch in our life, and he'll take so much more than that if we allow him to. So, what's the point of really, of really doing this stuff? I mean, well, well see, uh, you know, this reminds me of what my my former pastor used to say. He said, "Don't give the devil a place to work because he's going to work it." And he was referring to the scripture say, don't give place to the devil. Um, I can't recall the reference, the scripture reference for it. But it, it, you, you don't want to open up that gateway, that doorway to yeah. the enemy to come and have any part of your life. Well, Mark 13 and, and uh, 1 Timothy 4, both real, they both speak to an increase in demonic activity as uh, signs of the end times. And, and I think what we've got to realize is uh, in the Western world, we have taken demonic activity uh, to with a grain of salt. We've taken it to be a something that we're not... Um, like non-fiction. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, like fiction. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, we, we've, take, yeah we've taken it to, be, to, to not really exist or to be a part of Scripture that doesn't exist anymore. And what we've got to recognize is while we don't want to dabble in that, we don't want to get into that yeah, and be experiencing that, you've got to know it exists. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. out there. And, and, it can, and, and this stuff, I mean, we were talking last week, and Kurt was talking, you know, about watching it. And, and I, I think that the presence, I don't think it was as much... The what you watched, or I'm sorry, I don't think it was much as the lack of the presence of God as much as it was the presence of evil yeah. with, contained within the the situation that you were watching. And mm-hmm. I think that because I went to that very same movie theater and a few weeks later, and I watched a few days later, and I watched um, My Little Pony. <laughs> and, now see, that's that's demonic, and I didn't feel any evil. That's demonic, except for the kid behind me who wouldn't quit talking. <laughs> Felt some evil there. I was feeling pretty evil then. But and by the way, I took my five year old. It wasn't me by myself. I had already seen. Oh, it by I'm myself. glad you clarified. I had already gone alone. <laughs> don't, don't, the little ponies don't they be flying around and carrying? There's them? a couple flyers. Yeah, and that's magic. Yeah, mm. and that's and you know what's funny is that, well not funny but there's people out there who would not let their kids watch that stuff because it's magic, Harry Potter, you know that kind of stuff. And I, I don't. For me, conviction. Is not I'm not convicted by that. I mean, it's, um, you know, that's a certain level of entertainment. You know? uh, well, I mean, but there are people who would say don't doubt that you're dabbling in, I guess, and they might have a point. But uh, as far as salvation, it's not going to be a problem. 
And this person asked, what is the believers and unbelievers? And I would say this and let you guys sound off in the last couple of minutes here. I would say for the believers, you're simply uh, cheating yourself out of blessings as you focus on something other than God. For the non-believer, uh, you can open up yourself into pos- uh, demonic possession in uh, if you actually conjure mm-hmm. a spirit. Now, whether the Ouija board does or doesn't, I don't think it's inherently evil. I it's mean, a board of wood and stuff. But if you are, a, I think you could conjure a spirit just by speaking out to them in some way or using their name or that's because that's what taking the Lord's name in vain actually means. It's using the name of a spirit to conjure the powers. Mm. Final thoughts? I think to to your point. I'm sorry. Of Maybe that dropping was, the mic. <laughs> everything just fell. Maybe that's a sign. Um, you, you mentioned Harry Potter and witchcraft and all that, and Cedric brought the question up of do they fly around and everything? <laughs> what 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 is the line on when you think about a lot all of, of that stuff? stuff pretty yeah. much nothing you watch on TV. That's right. Would be. You know, permissible, permissible to watch. <laughs> I mean, everything has something. In it. You look at, I mean, even you know, like Grey's Anatomy, that show. There are homosexuals in it. There are. Mm-hmm. There's murder. There's. I mean, there's all mm-hmm. types of stuff. And I mean, there's not really any show on there if unless it's you know part of a Christian network or something that's going to be permissible for us to watch. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Everything you just mentioned, it's in the Bible. Yeah. If you were to watch a video. From Genesis to Revelation, you'd have to have all that stuff you just mentioned. I know that's right. And so I don't. And so, so where's the line so, drawn? So I, if you I think, read the Bible, you pretty much can watch these shows. Is what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying? That's how I justify Grey's Anatomy. Read, read the book. Read the book of Judges. <laughs> yeah, Judges. Read Read Song of Solomon. Yeah, yeah. You know? What's, yeah. What was the, the read, person about? that that Romans. shoved the pent t- uh, the tent oh, yeah. peg through yeah. the, the through head the, of the? It was one of the. It was a female judge. Yeah. yeah. What about, uh, that's why you shouldn't let females become judges. Dun-dun. <laughs> Thank you. No, no just, just kidding. We wanted to offend everybody equally today. What about uh, <laughs> the issue with Moses and uh, and his drunken, or Noah rather, and his that's drunkenness, yeah. you know? And um, who was it that slept with uh, their, uh, it was his daughters, wasn't it? Noah's daughters? No. Who was it that slept with their father? And then we'll come back to this next week with the answer. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, Somebody I'm, out there is I'm thinking confused. about it. This, is this Bible trivia now? Yeah, that's what it feels like. And Who we all failed. Slept with their father. Uh, two sisters uh, slept with their that was daddy. Noah. That was Noah, that wasn't was it? Noah, yeah. No. No. No, it wasn't it Noah. It wasn't? We'll have to find out. I'm, co- I'm, I'm confused. We, yeah, Kurt's we gonna look. That. Kurt's we, gonna look it up now. He's looking it up right How now. How terrible is this that we don't know? He's it? googling. Oh, we got sixty seconds, and we got to do a contest. Okay. All right, listen. We're gonna give away a uh, a a brand new. Uh, by the way, congratulations to our latest winner. She was um, Lynn. Lynn Sapp yes. picked up uh, the JJ Weeks Band CD off the of Facebook page. As long as we can breathe. All right, we're giving this one away. This is gonna be a our week giveaway. Tyrus Morgan CD Straight Line. If you want to be the winner of a autographed Tyrus, oh, it's not autographed, but if you want to be a winner of Tyrus Morgan CD. Uh, and we may throw some other fun stuff in there. You've got to go on Facebook in our Insiders group. You've got to go to our Insiders group, become an Inside member. And the and the keyword is, st- come up with a keyword quick. Keyword, uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is lot, by the way. That was oh, lot. lot. Thank yes, you, lot. lot. Yes, lot. there you go. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Change for That. We'll catch you next time.